Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back once again to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick, Colorado. Uh, my name's Mark Love, and uh, look at this. It's the 1st of March. We're back up to 60 degrees and sunny. Absolutely beautiful weather after our cold streak last week. So if you haven't been to Colorado, you got to come out here sometime and visit us. Anyway, today I'm going to be uh, showing you a 2022 Navion. This is the 24D floor plan, and this is actually a used coach that we just got back on trade. Uh, it has a little over 10,000 miles on it, and this particular unit has a lot of the really good features that I'm going to be talking about, including the diesel generator. Uh, it's got the auto levelers on it. It is a full body paint job with the Primera seats. And uh, because I want to demonstrate something kind of unique about these levelers and how to self-level it when, uh, when you're on an excessive slope that we're kind of on now, I'm going to actually walk the inside first and we'll come back outside and uh, show you the levelers and everything else. So why don't we go ahead and come on inside. Okay, uh, first of all, I want to demonstrate that I, I spun this passenger seat around to show you how it becomes part of the living area when you uh, want to spin it around. That's what these cushions are for. It actually boosts you up a little higher because of the difference in the cab uh, floor and your main floor here. But very comfortable seats, and again, I had mentioned this has the Primera seats, they call them. It's a very nice ultra leather product, extremely comfortable, very ergonomic. You do have a lumbar support back here. They are uh, fully uh, electric chairs, uh, so you can get them in any position you want to be very comfortable. Uh, also, another nice feature, I like the Navion. You see when I stand up here and I'm down in the cab and I'm not that tall, this bunk would actually, you know, hit me. I'd have to bend over, but it does have a queen size sleeper up here. And you can see back there you've got 110 outlets, you've got your USB ports, that bag over on the left, it's actually your blackout screens for the front of the coach. You have a nice ladder right here, but you know two adults might be tight, especially up front, but two kids could get in here easily or it's a very large sleeper for a single adult. And I've kind of got this set up uh, as if we are camping, not ready to go to bed. So I'm going to start in the bathroom this time and kind of move from back to front. And uh, I'll show you why in just a minute. Anyway, the nice thing about the 24D floor plan, which has been one of the most popular since they come out, you get a larger bathroom whenever you have a rear bathroom here. So you can see we've got a a full surround uh, shower, one piece surround in the shower. And it's actually pretty roomy. With that skylight of your 6'3", 6'4", you can fit up there easily. You notice there is a bar here that can be used for your wardrobe, but you can take that off when you're showering. When you're traveling, you might want to hang your coats or longer items there. It's got some really nice storage uh, underneath here and in your medicine cabinet. And there's actually another storage compartment here that's quite large and it's one of the reasons I wanted to uh, set this up first. You can see you've got your bar here to hang your clothes but your small table actually stores right here. But I wanted to demonstrate that you've got another compartment down below and you can see there's an access door from the outside, but that's kind of nice to, to be able to reach down from the inside and grab the things that you want. And again, I, I mentioned that this is where our table is going to store, and the table I'm talking about is this one right here. So this is your bed that comes down. It's a Murphy bed setup. But maybe you've got five or six people in here, you know, it's raining, you're eating dinner, 
Uh, you can spin those front seats around. They're part of the living area. You got a, a big table in your U-shaped dinette. You have another nice table right here. You can even spin that 90 degrees if you're playing cards or backgammon or something. But I'm going to go ahead and put this away now, and then I'll demonstrate the bed. So it's actually quite easy, but because of the way this door opens, you may not be able to, to see what I'm doing back here. And there is a nice strap in there. And let me grab my pole and get this put away. There we go. Okay. And now we're ready to make our bed up. So you've got a, a button back here that you push when you're bringing it down. And I usually stop right about here, bring my legs out. and then drop it all the way down. So very fast and easy. Uh, one nice thing that you notice, you've got 110 outlets and USB ports on both sides of the bed. You've got a couple reading lights back there and you have a nice large storage cabinet in the back. So when you put this back up, you kind of notice this space right here uh, it's kind of a void, so if you want to keep your pillows or your bedding or something like that, you have plenty of room back there to store some objects. Again, let's collapse our legs. Run this back, and there you go. And you can see where that, that space is back there where you can store a lot of things. So once it's up, you actually have quite a comfortable couch here. And again, with that table, just a lot of uh, different ways you can use this. Okay, across from the couch, we have our kitchen area, but let's show you over here first. We've got a little bit more storage, some nice full pull-out drawers in your pantry, good shelf up here down below. We've got another storage area here. These are your breakers and your 12 volt fuses. Up here above the refrigerator we have our main monitor panel. So you can see we can monitor our tank levels. We've got about half a tank of propane. Uh, check your batteries. You've got house and uh, chassis batteries. This is your water pump switch. Over here we've got our uh, ZAMP solar uh, charger here. There is solar panels on the roof. This is the control unit for it. So, you know, you can scroll through this, figure out how many amps you're drawing, how many amp hours you have, what the voltage is. Very simple to use. Over here we do have our propane and electric refrigerator. Now, I'm not plugged in right now, but it is uh, what we might call a camp refrigerator and I believe this is it's either an 8 or possibly a 10 cubic footer here so it's actually got a lot of room in it over here in the kitchen if we lift up this cabinet we got some more storage but we also have our inverter here and our generator switch and then we've got tank, uh, holding tank heating pads there. Another nice feature if, you know, maybe you're going to be using this late into the year or into the winter and you want to, you know, make sure that your tanks don't freeze up, you've got an electric heater there to help boost the uh, cold weather potential. Down here on our range, we have uh, a single induction burner here, and we do have a propane burner here. Your induction uh, the pans you use need to uh, be metallic. Anything a magnet would stick to would work. So your, uh, your cast iron and things like that will work if you don't want to go out and buy uh, new pots and pans. Underneath, we've got some nice storage drawers. And then they also put the microwave down here below the cabinet. You notice the metal inside, so that tells me it is a convection microwave. Then 
another deep storage drawer here. Uh, this is our TV, and uh, let's see, that's, that's mounted there and fixed. And then another storage cabinet on this side. We have a nice stainless steel double bowl sink. You do have a, a res residential style kitchen sprayer there. And then underneath here, we've got more storage. And that, that uh, black case you see there is all your owner's manuals and warranties and so forth. This is the Harmonious Topa Walnut, if you're wondering what the, uh, the wood color is. And this does have a full body paint job, the Tuscan paint job. I'll show you when we're outside. Let's move over here. And uh, first of all, we have three more storage cabinets. So there's a lot of room there. Even if you have some longer items, you can get them in the back. And they have a real nice positive locking latch here. I like the fact that all of the hinges are hidden. You don't see your hardware other than that knob on the front. Right here is our U-shaped dinette that converts down to a, a nice uh, bed. And this, you know, there, you can tighten this if you want, but it's nice to be able to turn it 90 degrees. One of the things that allows me to do is show you the storage underneath. So you can see on all three sides, we have storage cabinets. And even this middle one back here will flip up. So you can easily access your items there. And then you've got the same thing on this side. And of course, and those are your curtains uh, that you can put there uh, in front of the bed. And you notice the cleats down here. This is where the table is going to sit when you make it into a bed. I'm not going to demonstrate that. You've all seen it before. But these are the cushions you use to fill it in. And then each side of this has a nice footrest. So maybe you want to drop your table down, make it into kind of like a little day bed there, put some pillows and blankets, a nice place to put your feet up. And then, uh, when you're ready to put it down, it just goes down nice and easy. Okay, uh, we're back to the cab area again, and I wanted to point out a few features here, and then I'm actually gonna start this up, and that's gonna uh, power my levelers. I explained this does have auto levelers. Uh, first of all, if I just hit that button, it's not gonna start because I didn't have my foot on the brake, but for instance, to open your slides, the ignition has to be on for that to work. Uh, so you can see the seats are electric and they've got a lot of adjustments here. You can make it very comfortable. I'll go ahead and shut that off. Uh, navigation, this is your backup monitor. Uh, you know, uh, you got your, your Bluetooth and everything. And I will go ahead and fire this up now because I wanted to show you another nice feature and again push button start now it's got the backup monitor and when you put this into reverse it comes on automatically but now I'm gonna get this to stay on and if you look over here this is sort of a traditional uh, view of the back but maybe you want a wider angle view to see what's around you or maybe you're backing up to a trailer and you want to look straight or down so You've got a few choices here. And again, one of the reasons I'm, I'm going to leave this engine running is because it's going to power our levelers that I'm going to go out and show you right now. So, uh, Jody, why don't you step out that door and I'll meet you around on that side. Now, the levelers here are fully auto levelers and on, on a, a relatively flat surface it's going to level for yourself but our parking lot actually has more of a slope than it may look on camera 
and if you get a shot down here, you can see I have partially lowered these levelers. They're not all the way down yet. When I auto leveled it, it brought that tire up off the ground two or three inches, and that makes the step up there kind of high. Uh, it also was reading excessive slope. But one of the things I like to do, uh, get a shot at, at this equalizer uh, panel up here for your levelers, is you can manually level these and what I'm trying to do is get the all four pads down and get it relatively level but it doesn't have to be perfect and I don't want to run the uh, run the tires off the ground so there you can see the front tire or the front jacks are all the way down now I'm gonna do the same thing for the back jacks and normally as you're standing here you, you can kinda of tell when those jacks hit there we go we're starting to go up so now we're still at quite a slope so I am just gonna lower those jacks more on the right side and look how I'm leveling this now although it's not perfect if you notice the tires are still on the ground I have a lot of people ask me is there a way to manually level these or do I have to always use auto level and I would strongly recommend figuring out how to use that in the manual mode again the uh, the new refrigerators it's not as important to be exactly level like the old ones were so if you're a little bit out you know uh, uh, you know half an inch to an inch front to back or left to right it's not all that crucial but most importantly you've got those levelers down they really stabilize it as you're walking around inside and then when it is time to get ready to go I'm just going to hit all retract and these levelers are going to come up on their own okay while we're waiting on those let's go around and, and look at the outside of this some of the storage right here we've got a there levelers are up now nice Lord large storage uh, compartment here and they've got the nice rotocast finish here we do have a propane quick connect so if you want to bring your uh, propane grill and, and cook outside you can hook it up right there over here you can see our generator and again this is the uh, 3.2 uh, Onan diesel generator and one of the beauties about having a diesel generator when you're on a Sprinter chassis is you're pulling off the fuel tank so if I'm gonna go dry camping somewhere and maybe need to charge my batteries for a little bit each night or want to run my generator and turn on the air conditioner I'm not gonna run out of fuel because you're pulling off your tank now this also has a propane tank and you can get a propane generator but you know you're using it for cooking you're using it for hot water to heat the coach you're gonna use up that propane faster than you will on the diesel so that's a nice option and it's four or five thousand dollars to upgrade from a propane to a diesel generator Okay, back here we've got another small storage compartment. And then right here, this was a compartment I showed you from the inside in the bathroom closet. You can access, access this from above. Another nice feature, you do have a ladder, so if you want to get a storage pod or maybe you're carrying kayaks or uh, paddle boards, you can get a rack and put them up on the roof very easily. This is our two inch receiver hitch with your seven way plug. All of these Mercedes Sprinter chassis are rated for 5,000 pound towing. Nice LED lights on the back, too. They show up really good. Over on this side, here we've got our water compartment, and right next to it, we've got our 30-amp power cord. Now, here you've got your, your black tank and your gray tank valves. You can turn your water pump on here. 
if you are at an RV park and you've got city water, you would hook it up right there. And then also you notice you've got your drain valves and your bypass valves, so it's easy to know where to set them. And then you do have an outside uh, a shower or a sprayer. The reason this is off, you can see we've got pink in the lines, it is winterized. Although it's 60 degrees today, by Friday it'll be 30 degrees and snowing again almost for sure. Okay, we move around here. And we have one more fairly large storage compartment on this side. And then over here is our propane tank, and it's also our hydraulic pump for the levelers. And the fact that it's a diesel generator, that propane's gonna last you a while if you're just, you know, using it for hot water and cooking and not running your generator off it. Okay, let me pop the hood. First of all, I'm gonna shut the engine off. And you do need to have the brake depressed to uh, turn the engine on and off there. And so all of these Mercedes Sprinters have the, uh, the six cylinder, it's a three liter diesel engine. And uh, where's, ah. Oh, there we go. Again, uh, 188 horsepower with this engine. Um, all your fluids are easily accessible. Another nice feature, if you ever need to jump it, you don't have to find your battery. The chassis battery is actually kind of under the driver's feet. But here is a, uh, a positive terminal. Over on this side, you have a, a stem there grounded to the frame. So if you need to jump this or if you're using this to, to jump a buddy, it's easy to access your terminals there. But just a great platform. Uh, you know, the Mercedes Sprinter is probably one of the most popular in your Class Bs and the small Class Cs. They double the fuel mileage you're going to get on a gas. You're looking at, you know, 14 to 17 miles a gallon, depending on which unit you buy. And they are bulletproof. They will run 200, 300,000 miles, as long as you keep up with maintenance, there shouldn't be any problem with them. Okay, well there you have it. This is a 2022 uh, Navion 24D with about 10,000 miles on it. If you've been wanting to get a newer Navion uh, and you've been calling dealers about ordering one, you realize you might be waiting till August, September, October if you were to order one today. So if you want to save a little money, get a lightly used, uh, you know, great floor plan, this is it. Uh, I guess I, I don't have my little placard I normally have, so I'm just going to reintroduce myself. My name's Mark Love. Please feel free to call or text me on my cell phone. That number is 970-631-0083. Let me know if you have any questions on this unit or any other units. Uh, weather's getting nice. It's, it's going to be camping and boating season soon. So hope to see you once again. Travel safe out there. And like always, friends, happy trails.